These are scavengers within the city center of Kano, and this place is called Sabongeri. Some of these children are from the neighboring states, while others are indigents of Kano. <laughs> It's the early hours of Monday when their mates are in school, but these youths are here making a life from this refuge dump. <laughs> Aminu Salisu is the eldest among these boys, and he is just 16 years old. He says he was troublesome while growing up and this made his parents to take him to the children remand home in Kano. And after a few weeks, Salis escaped from the home and find himself here. Others like him pick up items from other dump sites and waterways. For them, this is the life they have chosen. And for now, they have no other option. And amidst the search, they get caught by security agencies. Some are arrested and detained, while those who are lucky are left to go free. But that is not enough to stop them from carrying out what they describe as their only source of livelihood. <laughs> After a long walk and a hectic search for sellable items, this is where they rest. They spend hours on this dump site, most times with a sachet of water. And whenever sales is high, they make 200 naira per day. And other days, they make as low as 50 naira. To anyone that looks closely, it may appear as Eve some of them are taking water but what they have are such as of hard drugs like solution tramadol among others he claimed that he left his parents in search of money to settle the debt he is owing dino sleeps here at a refuge dump and for five weeks he has not gone home. In this camp, there are different stories for different children. For Ali, he has been here for six years. He claimed he is tired of his present lifestyle as he plans to go back home to apologize to his parents. Life may not mean so much to these boys as they continue to live on the street in search for better ways of making ends meet.